I feel like I was like interacting with the birds a lot, which is super lit. <laughs> like, I was like trying to mimic some of their noises and that would like lead to a lot of like cool ideas that we had and like gestures. Um, I don't know, like when you feel like leaves under your feet like this, and you like feel that. very grounding like you feel like you're really like touching something like rooted in something else and so then when you play I think the beat feels really stable and the and the the like flow of it feels like it's like connected to the earth and that's that's cool It doesn't feel like performing, I guess. It just sort of feels like existing with the music and with the space. I don't think either of us were trying to like get somewhere. We were trying to just like do whatever happened and respond to whatever happened. Whereas like in rehearsals and stuff, it like 
when you're like trying to rehearse for a gig, you're like, oh, we have to like learn this tune, we have to do this, and have an agenda. And it's nice to get away from agendas sometimes because they're very like overbearing and difficult to um, be at peace with. You know. Yeah, I, I mean, I was reflecting on like my relationship. Um, reflecting on like how I exist in the world like cause I don't know I feel like I've been so busy lately and like I just like don't ever say no to stuff and so I'm just like so busy and I'm trying to like do it all at once and it makes it very difficult to just like feel really relaxed and at ease like when I am spending time with my friends or like in my relationship or whatever. Like, I don't know, like coming, like we kept playing that theme. But like, blah, blah, blah. Um, and like coming back to that a lot and having that like sort of ground everything felt really cool because it was like no matter where we like went, we were still like in the same place that we began. It feels like it it takes away the desire to like the like the scheduling agenda like goal desire and and you just get more in a place of like just being with the music with each other, you know. Yeah, I mean I think I think about it like I mean, there is a big part of me that really likes being busy and and enjoys that. Like, not, I don't get stressed about it, but the like, the go, 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 like, because it keeps me really occupied and it's sort of fun. Like, it's like a struggle. Um, but I think, I don't know, like there's a, very large part of me that really wants to like drop everything I'm doing right now and like go live in isolation in the woods you know um because I think I don't know actually I was talking to um I was talking to a few friends of mine the other day about like whether we want to live in cities or like in like the suburbs or something like when we're older and I was like basically saying that I th think that you should only live in like the city or like the wilderness and that you shouldn't really live anywhere in between <laughs> because like the city you get like the, all this exposure to like other stuff and you can like absorb all this other stuff and like make it part of yourself and so like that's one like really important thing but another really important thing is to like so that's like your sort of outward exploration but then the other really important thing to do in life is like inward exploration and so that's like why i think it's also good to live like sort of alone like not around a lot of other stuff and just like more with nature where you can really just like reflect on the self and and how you exist in your own space instead of like in relation to other people and so like like doing both like in a lifetime feels important to me like I want to do both like I want to because like I grew up in Brooklyn like I grew up in the city and like I was always surrounded by so much stuff and was exposed to so much stuff. And that's like really shaped me. And I feel like that's really made me like who I am and has made me a curious person and like all that. But I think at some point I want to step away from that 
but it doesn't feel useful to step away from it where like you're not living in the city but you're like still around a bunch of other people like i want to like actually be like away from stuff and like really just like be in nature so i kind of want to move to nova scotia <laughs> being part of like a much larger humanity and like seeing all these different kinds of people and like really like asking questions and being curious about that but then also taking time to like really be by yourself and spend some time figuring out why you feel the way you feel without having to like try and explain it to other people all the time you know I feel like I can't practice in the way that I want to practice when I'm around other people like even if I'm in a practice room by myself just like the knowledge that it's a practice room that's like in a building with a bunch of other people who are gonna like walk by the window I'm like always like oh I wonder who's gonna walk by the window of my room and like I don't know and like also like I'm just there's not space in my day to like really dedicate to like sitting and kind of meditating with my instrument and I think if I am gonna do that I need to be like away from people like if I'm gonna do it in the way that I want to do it at some point like I would want to go like live in some very secluded area and just like practice and listen to music but also like listen to the woods and with that what do you see as the pursuit just like a better understanding of myself in relation well of myself in relation to myself but also of myself in relation to my instrument And of my instrument in relation to nature, because like I feel like all like instruments came out of nature, and are sort of like they're just sort of like furthered natural things. Like a drum is like a almost natural I, object, and so I think like the f f more development you do like the less natural it gets but like its ancestor is like natural i mean if like thinking about like the bird calls right like the the stuff that we're responding to like song is like is a natural thing and so wanting to be a part of that and understanding like how my instrument derives from that i think is part of it just understanding like how the music derives from that, you know. Um, yeah. I was gonna say something else, but I don't remember. I feel like nature just like makes this immense space and you can sort of do with that space whatever you want but it's just like huge like it's like so vast you know I think the bees think my saxophone is a flower. <laughs> <laughs>